Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to apply field and record validation in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, as you can see in my next slide, it says that you can set or validate the access database as you enter it by applying a particular validation. Now, there are basically three types of validation provided by access. It says field validation rule, then next one is record validation rule and third one is validation on form. In this video, we are going to cover only these two topics. In our next videos, we will going to cover validation on forms. Now, let's take for an example that I have a form in which I just have to enter a particular record or a particular field types or a data types. At that time, I will apply a validation to that particular form. Now, it says that the validation rule control property is similar to the the field validation rule that we have learned in our data sheet view in our data sheet view we have learned how to apply different kind of validation now that validation is similar to this we will get a better understanding of how to apply all this validation in our practical approach in this video we are going to learn about field and record validation in Microsoft Access 2016. So now in order to uh, help you with this, I need to create a table. So let me go ahead and quickly create a table. I will move to the create tab and under the create tab, I will move to tables group and I'll simply select table. Now I have the table ready with me. Now I need to add some fields. So we are what we are trying to do out here. I'm trying to create a database for a car company where I have the car name. I have the price, the discount and the rest of the fields. All right. So let me go ahead and quickly create this table. I say this should be a, a short text and this out here, I'll be typing the car name. Again, this will be the short text and this will be the price, price of the car. Then uh, this is the discount offered. So the third will be the discount offered by the company. I'll make sure no typo error. Now I want to add two more fields uh, which says date. Uh, it will be the purchase date of the car. So I'll type this as uh, the data type will be uh, date and time. And let me take this as purchase date. Okay, so I have the purchase date and the last one which I want is the service date of the card. Basically, when you uh, buy a car, you need to services as well. So I will mention the service date again out here. So this is date and I will name this tab as service date. Now, basically we have created a table. Now let's go ahead and apply the validation. Now in order to apply validation, there are two ways of doing it. Uh, either we can go from here, uh, the field tab out here under the table tool. I have the field tab. I will go to this uh, field validation group and I will click on this drop down menu and I'll say field validation, but I will apply this field validation to this price and what will be the validation out here. I'll say, I'll simply select field validation and I'll say that my my price right the price should be always greater than let's say any car will uh, cost me around let like, more than 5000 a brand new car so that's what the validation I have given out here uh, I'm making this as greater than 5000 so let's take any new car let's say let's take an Audi and if I try to enter a value which is less than uh, 5000 let's say I'll take this as just 3000 and I'll try to move on to the next record. The moment I click on next record, it says uh, by default, it is going giving me a message. One or more values are prohibited by the validation rules because we have set the validation that it has to be greater than 5000. Now, this is a very boring and long message. So in order to change this particular message, I will simply go into the validation rule and I will create my own message out here. So I will type the validation that it needs to be more than 5000 that's right this is the validation rule which i'm trying to apply okay so i simply hit okay now if i try to type a price which is less than 5000 now see you have a shortened message it says directly it needs to be more than 5000 so this is how you can apply a validation uh, in microsoft access uh, in one way more than 5000 so let me make it uh, let's say 10000 now it will definitely accept it. Now this is one way of applying the validation uh, using the data sheet view. Now if I go uh, under the design view, if I move under the design view, first it is asking me to save this file. I say yes, uh, car database, and the name of my table. I simply hit OK. Now if you go under this design view, you can see uh, I have all my fields out here. Now I can apply a one more validation to this discount. Let's say I will make this as number 
right and i will give a validation to this that it cannot be more than 2000 i cannot give a discount for more than 2000 this is what i'm going to apply a validation so if you go here uh if you click on this particular data type you can see there are field properties we can see right below us out here i can see a validation rule i say it has to be always less than 2000 this is the validation rule i have applied uh, and the validation text let's say the company cannot afford it right so i say just the it will give me an error message of cannot afford and let's go ahead and save this setting so i'll right click save that's right okay so okay it, uh, it is this particular what do you say error message was very common so don't worry simply hit yes and let's start testing it i will move ahead and go to the data sheet view now i have this and what the validation rule that we have applied that it should be always less than 2000 so let's go ahead and apply more than 2000 let's see what is the error message it is saying cannot afford right so this is how you can apply a validation rule i say if i take 1500 definitely it will take one now this is one way of doing it now this this is the other way of doing it now we will move and go ahead and see what is the different record validation now under 2016 it is just giving me this as instead of in the other version of uh, access it will show record validation but in 2016 we have this validation rule now what is the difference between two now the out here we have applied a validation using just give me a moment i'll select here i'll go here and it has we have taken the validation uh, just th like that we have not built an expression but if i want to build an expression out here i will always go to this particular validation and will select this validation rule all right so let's go ahead and apply a validation to rule to this service date right i want to uh, given a validation that it should be always greater than service date as we purchase a car we will definitely uh, service it after the purchase date of the car and not previous day to it all right so this is the validation rule i'm trying to apply out here okay so let's go to this service date and i'll move to this validation field and this time i'll say validation rule now we are using an expression to build a validation rule out here i say that my purchase date or my service date should be always greater than what i have done out here i have double clicked here and we have this express uh, the field name and i say it should be greater than the purchase date every time it will take this as well this is the validation that we have applied i simply hit okay i will okay yes okay now we'll go ahead and also give it a validation we'll say it cannot be before the purchase date all right so this is the validation message that we have applied let's go ahead and do this so i'll go here and i'll say it takes 28th of september right now if i go ahead and select a date which is prior to this it will not accept let's see if i take a 14th of september and if i try to move on to the next record it says it cannot be before the purchase date so i have to select a date which is more than the purchase date if i select a 30 it will definitely accept accepted so this is how you can apply validation rule to a field and a record validation in microsoft access 2016